How was your first lockdown? Uh, my first lockdown, it was interesting. Um, I was working full time at the time in a shop, TK Maxx, and then one of my friends passed away in February. That was when I realised that I think I need to do something different in my life, I need to go in a different direction. And I think uni is the best direction for me at the time. And in that time I started making like TikToks to keep me busy. And that's where I kind of fell in love with the idea of making content, making film. How did you cope with it all? Like, what were you coping with that kind of stuff? I think for the first two or three weeks, there wasn't really any kind of coping mechanism. I'm quite introverted naturally. Um, although I don't really display that quite often, but I am. I prefer being on my own, 100%. So I thought I'd like really suit it. I thought I'd really settle in. Um, but then I kind of... I think I kind of took life back to the basics uh, when I started to struggle. I looked at it as, what do I need? I need to breathe, I need to eat, I need to drink. And that's how I went. And that's how I coped. I just went back to basics. So what plans did you have before COVID? So I just, when COVID really started, I just came back from holiday in Norway with my girlfriend at the time. Went to Bergen, it was, it was amazing, it was so good. And then I planned to um, go interrailing in that summer. I was planning on doing 27 countries all around Europe. I didn't think there was like two or three countries I'd miss. And yeah, just like travel. I'm a big travel boy, so just getting away, getting abroad was kind of... I think at that point in my life, it was one of the things keeping me going, keeping me motivated. It's interesting to think like, if I did go travelling then, where would I be? I doubt I'd be living in London. I doubt I'd be... Oh, I definitely wouldn't be at uni. So to see the difference is kind of light and day for me. But it's the same direction in the end. And do you think you made the most of your lockdown? I think I did, but slowly. It was an overnight change. Um, I think I kind of, the way I think about it is, I learned the most about myself in that lockdown, more than the other at the time, 19 years of my life. And it was probably Probably the biggest turning point in my life of really understanding who I was, what I enjoyed, and taking life back to the, own, like the pace it should be really, or the pace I wanted it to be at the time. Um, apparently I do have ADHD traits there, I think. I'm very, I'm very active thinker, I always think. Um, and having life slow down even for 10 minutes was such a relief. It's kind of like putting an ice pack on a bruise. It just kind of it felt nice for once. It was such a situation in time, and I think some people weren't ready for it, some people were, some people needed COVID. I think I was one of the people that needed COVID. Um, I think at that time in my life, I was ready to make a difference, and I was ready to kind of go outside my comfort zone in a way, and just really express myself. I was at that kind of perfect crossroads where um, COVID happened at the perfect time for me to really make a difference in my life. And in a way, I'm grateful that COVID happened. And I wouldn't be the person I was today without COVID. I'd probably be in a much darker, different place.